Hi Libra and welcome to your singles love reading for December 2020. This is for those that are born September 23rd through October 22nd. And you are Cardinal Air. All right, Libra. Let's see what the cards have to say for our single Libras that are newly single, have been single for a long time, looking for love, looking for a committed relationship, looking for partnership, looking to deepen their friendship with somebody that might lead to something else. Let's see what we've got going on. All right. In the past and the future. Hmm. All right. There we go. Oof. Bottom of the deck, Libra. You've got the Ten of Swords. That is... telling me that your thoughts have been working overtime um, I think there's been hurt in the past uh, but I also think that you um, some of it was by your hand you know it wasn't just the the person uh, it takes two to tango and, then, and it takes two to break up too so I think that a lot of that is guilt over the breakup, maybe. But that's something we definitely have need to have you work on. All right. The past is, you got the seven of wands. And it is... The past, you felt like you had to keep on defending yourself. You had to keep on fighting back. Um, it could be where the swords are coming from that, you know, it could be that no matter what you did or said, it was always fought. You had to fight for whatever you wanted or fight for whatever. If you wanted to have a talk, you had to schedule one or if you, you know, it, you just had to, um, you had to fight for everything in the relationship. Nothing was balanced or fair. And again, this won't resonate with every Libra, but if it does resonate with you, I'd love to hear down below. You can leave a comment for me. Your, the energy that's leaving you is the Seven of Wands. The energy coming in is the Two of Cups. And this is a card of partnership. It is a card of two people coming together on an emotional connection. Uh, it can be a love card or it can be a good friendship that may turn into something more that is coming into you're coming into that energy and I, I do see it as more of a friendship it could be somebody you already know that you're talking to maybe just as friends but it can develop into something more you have the hierophant in reverse and that is that is a card of I see it as doing things by the book um, in it, but it's in reverse. So this could be an unorthodox way of doing something or being with somebody. So it could be, um, you know, there's, there's so many different relationships out there. So I don't exactly know what you're looking for. So I really don't want to get, in, get into particulars, but this could be an unorthodox way of doing something. Um, and it's not a bad thing. It is, also a card of um, structure and I would say again it's a card of balance to me too it's it'll it, a card that balances things out this is your unconsciousness or what what you're not aware of and it is the 
it is the Eight of Cups, and it is something you're walking away from. Something emotionally that you need to walk away from, that you're not aware of. Maybe that you're, it, it might be something that you're coming from the past that you're still emotionally attached to, and you need to let that go. That could be, again, where this is coming from. You need to walk away from that emotional attachment you have to this other person. And you don't need to be looking back. You need to not, you need to go forward and not look back. Don't look back in your review mirror. You won't like what you're seeing. And coming up in the very top, you have conflict. You have conflict card. Um, so this is telling me again that if you don't, if you don't let go of this emotional attachment to this person, then that same energy of chaos and conflict and always defending yourself can come back. I'm going to pull one more card on this one. I'm going to leave this card out here since that was there. What else can you tell me about that Five of Wands energy? For Libra single, please. Yeah. I really think with the Hierophant showing up that you will put in, you, it's very structured. I think you'll put in um, put in what you'll need for the relationship. All right, right here. Oh, yeah, that's a balance. So, again, um, no, the Knight of Cups. The chaos and conflict, it will lead to balance. So what this is telling me is that even though it's a future card or, or your conscious card of what you're conscious of, it could be this lagged energy from this past relationship where you had to fight for you and defend yourself, defend your boundaries, fight for pretty much anything you wanted to maybe meeting this new person as a friend, putting up your boundaries, your structures, knowing that this relationship is different. It's, you know, it's a different way to have a relationship than you're used to. Really, you know, struggling with your emotions from the past and, or, and also this emotions with this new relationship co coming in because it's something you're not used to. Again, it's unorthodox. It's something you're not used to. And that, in turn, can cause internal conflict and chaos. And it could also, you know, if the ex is still in the picture, cause disharmony there also. But with that will come the balance. It will come the balance that you're seeking. It will all bring about the balance. And um, it's also a card of... It's an earth, you know, it's an earth, the pentacles are earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so it could be that person coming in, possibly, but you have a lot of passion, there's a lot of passion here, there's a lot of emotion here, but it will bring the balance and the grounding that you're so looking for, but you do have to address this, right there, it needs to be addressed. If it's the other person in your life, they need to leave. Or it needs to be worked out to where it's amicable. You know, it's it's you don't constantly have that chaos, that fighting. Alright, this is a love card to shed a little more love. I, I have a feeling when you're in this relationship or when you're with this person coming in, this friend even. I have a feeling like they're a really good friend. And when you're in this space with them... That you are, that you are happy, and you are at peace, and you feel good there. It's just you can't be there all the time right now, until you get this other situation un under control. All right, it's a love card for you. Let's see what it says. 
Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. How beautiful is that? Yeah, so again, it could be in the past relationship when you did try to act on it, it was never good enough for that person, you know. Um, and this is telling you that this new relationship coming in is not that person from the past. So definitely um, to act and act out of love in this new relationship. All right, they're telling me to read out of the book for you on that because there's something in the book you need to hear. So let me do that real quick. It's card 48. It says, people often give clues about what is important to them. You can show your affection for someone by listening when they have a lot to say, going for a walk with them, helping with chores, or planning a vacation together. Paying attention to what others are telling you can help you understand how to love them better. Create time for someone in your life, no matter what you have in your schedule. Make finding moments for those you love a priority. Those who love you will understand you are busy, so when you change your day for someone, it does not go unnoticed. There are so many ways to show someone you are thinking of them. Send flowers, an email, text, or phone call. Preparing a favorite meal for someone or running an errand to alleviate stress or simple ways of showing your love. An angel or dormant flowers has scenes of kindness and love depicted on her wings. This is a general reminder of the ways you can show love to those around you. The angel has a hibiscus flower in her hair. It is time for a clear demonstration of happiness and delight. Sometimes you need to do a little bit more to express love to those around you. So again, hopefully that resonated something more than what I had said earlier. But don't be afraid. Don't hold your love back. And I think that could have been part of that. You know, again, you have to hold back things. Everything you said was a fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink real quick. All right. I'm going to pull a surrender card. And this is something you need to surrender to for the relationship to move forward. Or work on. Ooh, your ego. That's a blunt one, isn't it? Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Oof, I didn't pick up ego on this at all. But uh, it could be some of the struggle and strife. It could be part of too. Again, it takes two. So that past relationship... I think, again, has a lot to do with how you're still feeling. And you need to really surrender to it. And if, if it's being right and you always have to be right and that's part of it, let it go. Let it go. It's telling you, surrender your ego. Let it go. It's not worth it. You want that balance. You want that two of cups to be upright. All right, Libra, thank you for watching. This is uh, good from mid-December to mid-January till the 20th of January, they keep telling me. Again, comment down below if this resonates. I'd love to hear from you. If you like a private reading, my email is below also. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hi, Libra, and welcome to your December 2020 reading and this this is a love reading and this is for those of you that are partnered or committed or coupled or married or however you want to however your relationship is that you're involved with somebody um september 23rd to october 22nd is uh libras and let's see what the cards have to say for libras partnerships for you and your partner for December 2020. Huh. 
Ah, the cat and singles reading. And that one fell. All right, Libra. Need two more cards. Hmm. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the death card in reverse. So the death card is letting go of addictions, letting go of what no longer serves you, so a rebirth can be happening. And this is telling me that you or your partner might be falling back into uh, some unhealthy patterns. All right. So, what you think about your partner, and you think about your partner is that... They don't take the time they need to take care of themselves. The Four of Swords. They have a strong foundation um, as far as their thinking, their clear thinking. But sometimes it can be muddled because they don't get the rest they need. They don't take time for themselves. And you think that they need to take more time for themselves and rest more. And what they think of you is the Sun card, which is a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, definitely, you know, happy-go-lucky. Um, always a ray of sunshine. Always bringing hope and laughter and kindness to people. So, that's pretty polar opposite, almost. Um, how you feel about your partner. And you feel about your partner is that they're not putting the work into the relationship that you want, that you expect, or that you feel that you're putting the work into the relationship. Um, so this is telling me that you all think highly of each other, but from there it kind of, um, I don't know if the feelings are, you're losing feelings for each other, uh, but there's a lot of, I can't say nitpickiness, but there's a lot of noticing you know this didn't get done and that didn't get done and why wasn't that done this way and you're there and you know you said you were going to do this yesterday or last week there's a lot of work that needs to be done or that you have anticipated that would be done that have hasn't been done yet and that can also be with the relationship itself Maybe there's counseling that you all were going to go to and you haven't yet because they said they would and they didn't. What your partner feels about you is <sighs> to Ten of Swords. It is <sighs> they feel that almost You've wounded them beyond compare. They, um, part of it's them, part of it's their thinking. Uh, they overthink things a lot and they could be overthinking more in the relationship than they act, than actually is going on in the relationship. Um, but they, they're really hurt, uh, by some actions that have happened. And, It, it's, I almost feel like they don't know if they can recover from this. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Um, how you think they show up to a reading is the Knight of Cups. And to a reading. How, to a marriage. How did they show up to a marriage? And you think, you know, they show up like they can do anything. They can solve anything. Um, they're the Knight of Cups. They're, they're there for the love. They... It's, it's, it could be like they shower you with gifts or they show you the love. They show you love because they think the world of you. They think, you know, you're the sun. They love you for that. They love your brightness. And they may be showering you with a lot of love, but they may not be feeling it back in, in turn. 
and how they think they show up. That's so funny. You both are knights. The Knight of Cups is an emotion. It is... Um, it's a cup, you know, obviously. It's an emotion card. It is um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And they're intuitive, and they're usually... Um, they're they're quiet. I can't say that all of them are, but he's not even, you know, holding the reins. He's very comfortable. How they think you show up is the Knight of Swords. It's like spurring the horse on, moving forward. You're ready to cut anybody's throat. You're ready to do whatever you have to do. Um, just let me at them. You're go, go, go. And, you know, words can cut sometimes deeper than a knife can. And I think that's a lot of, again, a lot of thoughts and a lot of, a lot of words. So this is the energy of what is going on right now in the relationship. And it's a page of wands. So this could be a, a new person coming in, a younger person. This could be a message coming in. That would have to do with um, something that one of you is very passionate about. It could be having to do with school. Uh, one of you may be going back to school or teaching or... But it's a, it's a new message coming in. A new growth, a new opportunity coming in. That's going on right now at this moment. And that could be where part of this comes from. If there's been conflict and chaos and hurtful words and hurtful thoughts and hurtful actions said. The overall energy of the reading, though, is a Nine of Swords. And it's a card of anguish, sleepless nights. Again, thoughts, your thoughts, 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 their thoughts. Um... So... It's a tough one. I don't like relationship readings when they're not good. And I know this is not going to resonate for every Libra. But it, it could be something you all need to consider counseling if you're into that. Um, but you have to weigh the pros and cons. And you have to see the hurt that you all are causing if you're causing hurt to each other. Which according to the cards you are. If you're causing hurt toward each other, it might be time to... Time to let go of. Again, there could be addictive habits. There could be um, bad influences. Letting things come back that you've let go of. That were no longer served you. That were bad for you. That you're bringing back in. Alrighty, let's pull a love reading or a love card and see if that sheds any light for you, Libra. Again, this will not resonate with every Libra. If it resonates with you, I'd love to hear from your comments below. Or you can email me if you want to keep it personal. That's fine, too. I understand. Hmm. Alright, listen with your heart. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. So. Again, if there's counseling, if you're thinking of counseling, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Because the lack of communication, I mean, it's obviously not there. So it could be a third party to listen to help you all if, if you want that. This is a surrender card. I'll pull one for you and one for your partner. It's something that you can be working on in order to save the relationship or move it forward. Oh. All right. I don't know 
was on the floor. All right, Libra. Yours is surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead in, in anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Hmm. The beautiful card, especially with the swing, you know, you're little or sometimes when you're big and you swing on a swing and you go up and you go back and you can just feel that whoosh. And that's kind of what you need to do. Um, there's a lot of worry here. There's a lot of worry here. And that's not healthy for either one of you. Your partner's card. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. Yeah. I wish you all the best, Libra. I do. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Thank you for watching. And good luck to you.